हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर सेकेंड वीडियो लेक्चर इन फर्स्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट ऑफ सीड्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग डिफरेंट कॉजेज फॉर डिटोरेशन ऑफ वेराइटी एंड नेक्स्ट क्लासेस वी विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग इट्स मेंटेनेंस हाउ टू गो फॉर द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ द वेराइटी this is most important for multiplication of any crop varieties and each and every seed company or public sector seed producer they are giving the focus on how to maintain the seed quality so farmers can use a certified seed for proper growth and maximum productions as you know the main aim of seed production is to produce genetically pure and good quality seed this is the aim of all seed technologist and all the seed company they are trying to maintain the genetic purity of all the variety of the crops as you know there are different factors for loss of genetic purity and there are some solutions also how to maintain genetic purity so in this class we will discuss regarding different factors which is uh, losing the genetic purity so there are uh, different factors like uh, developmental variation mechanical mixtures mutations natural crossing genetic drift minor genetic variation selective influence of diseases techniques of the breeder breakdown of male sterility and finally improper or defective seed certification system so these are the 10 factors for loss of genetic purity of every crop so in this video lecture we will discuss one by one so first factor is developmental variations as you know all the seed crop is grown in different agricultural conditions india has been divided into different agroclimatic zones and each and every plant breeder they are developing different variety for different agroclimatic zone so for several consecutive generations the developmental variations may arise as differential growth responses so to avoid or minimize such developmental variations the variety should always be grown in adaptable area that means as you know all the area is not suitable for the seed production so it's important that if you are planning for the development of any variety or multiplication of any variety so you have to select the adaptable area where development of seed can grow second one is mechanical mixtures in mechanical mixtures there are many reasons so first reason is contamination through field as you know we are growing seed in the field so here uh, there may be self sown seed or uh, it may be volunteer plants so due to uh, volunteer plants there is a chances for the contaminations and uh, other reason is uh, like uh, in the case of seed drill if same seed drill is used for uh, sowing of uh, two or three varieties of same crop so there is a chances of uh, mechanical mixtures next is uh, carrying two different varieties adjacent to each other next is growing two different varieties adjacent to each other and next is 
tracing floor suppose you are using same tracing floor for two different varieties so there is a chances for the mechanical mixtures uh, like uh, combined or tracers bags or seed bins and uh, during seed processing so due to different uh, regions there is a chances of mechanical mixture in variety so for this what do we have to do so it would be necessary to go for the rogging operations so the seed fill at different stages of crop growth period as you know rogging period is one of the important factors for seed productions so for each and every category of variety or crop there are a different number of uh, uh, rogging operation sometimes uh, two rogging operations sometimes three rogging operations so you have to go for uh, sealed field for rogging operations next is uh, mutations uh, this is not uh, so much importance as the occurrence of uh, a spontaneous mutation is very low so if uh, you are getting any uh, visible mutations and uh, simply you can remove it by rogging operations and here you can see uh, this carrot and that is due to uh, mutations here you can see this is also uh, the outcome of uh, mutations in the case of uh, uh, mage next is uh, natural crossing and uh, it is the important source of contamination especially in the case of sexually propagated crops so here uh, due to integration of genes from unrelated genotypes so in this case the extent of contamination that is totally dependent on the amount of natural cross fertilizations so here natural crossing is main source of contamination in cross fertilized especially in the case of often cross pollinated crop so the extent of genetic contamination which depends on the breeding system of the species isolation distance varietal mass and pollinating agent if you want to overcome the problem of natural crossing then only one solution is you have to maintain the isolation distance so you must have knowledge regarding the isolation distance of each and every crop if you are planning for the seed production so you must have knowledge regarding isolation distance and this question is coming in a jrf examinations srf examinations on all the competitive examinations so you must have knowledge regarding isolation distance of different crops so here you can see minimum isolation distance requirement of important uh, uh, crops so here two category are there one isolation distance for foundation seed and another isolation distance for certified seed likewise in the case of uh, rice wheat uh, for both the category of uh, seed isolation distance is 3 meter in the case of uh, soya bean groundnut both category is 3 meter in the case of oat and barley again in both category isolation distance is 3 meter in the case of pearl millet and other small millet uh, isolation distance in both category 3 meter so likewise i have given a list of all the Uh, crop so you can uh, remember to go through it uh, isolation distance like tomato uh, 50 meter in the case of foundation seed and uh, 25 meter in the case of certified seed here you can see uh, in the case of onion 1000 meter in the case of uh, foundation seed and uh, 400 meter in the case of uh, certified seed so likewise uh, i have given all the list so you have to go through it and uh, it is a very important for your examination point of view from this portion one or two question may come in your internal examinations and uh, one or two question are coming in a different competitive examinations also next is genetic drift as you know when seed is multiplied in large areas so only a small quantity of seed is taken and preserved for next year sowing so in this case we have to make the sub sampling uh, all the genotype will not represented in the next uh, generations so for this 
due to this reason that lead to the changes in genetic compositions if there is a genetic change in genetic compositions and this is not as a genetic drift like you here you can see so in a pictorial diagram you can easily understand suppose this is the seed lot and you are making the different uh, sub uh, uh, sub lot then here you can see uh, there is a different genetic makeup is coming in a, a different category of the lot so due to this there is a chances for the genetic drift so here next uh, six reason is minor genetic variations you can see uh, some minor genetic changes may occur during production cycle and that is due to differences in the environment so here due to these changes in the yield may also affected sometimes you can see yield can increase sometimes yield can decrease so to avoid such minor genetic variations periodic testing of the varieties must be done from breeder seeds and nucleus seed in self pollinated crop like wheat and rice here minor genetic variation is a common feature in often cross pollinated species i have already given the list of often cross pollinated crop so therefore care should be taken during maintenance of nucleus seed and breeder seed and it is important uh, to maintain the genetic purity and here uh, also uh, i have given the list of uh, often cross pollinated crop like sorghum tithical pigeon pea tobacco jowar cotton broad beans jute rye brassica compostis so these are the examples of uh, often cross pollinated crop next uh, factor is uh, selective influence of diseases and this is uh, uh, most important for uh, genetic distribution of the crop so in case of foliar disease the size of the seed gets affected due to poor supply of carbohydrate from infected photosynthetic tissue so in case of such uh, in case of seed and soil borne diseases uh, you can see like uh, downy mildew uh, and uh, irgot of jowar a smut of bajra and a smut of wheat so it is dangerous to use seeds for commercial purpose once the crop get affected so if such type of uh, uh, situation you are getting don't go for the further multiplications so here new crop variety may often become susceptible to new races of diseases that leads to these variety may we come out of seed production programs so for this what you have to do you have to go for proper plant protections okay and especially for pest in diseases eight factors is uh, techniques of the plant breeders as you know uh, whatever the instability uh, you are uh, uh, getting that is due to uh, some uh, genetic uh, irregularities if it is not properly assessed at the time of release of the variety like uh, premature release of variety so which have been bred for particular disease which leads to the production of resistant and susceptible plant which may be an important cause of deterioration uh, as you know uh, there is one uh, important example of sonalika and kalyan sora variety of wheat which were released in india for commercial cultivations the genetic variability in both the variety was still in flowering stages and several secondary selections were made by different uh, wheat breeders and uh, nine factor seed breakdown of male stability as you know male stability is one of the important factors for hybrid seed production if any um, seed company they are going for the development of uh, uh, any uh, hybrid seeds so uh, here you will see generally in the case of hybrid seed production so if, if there is any uh, breakdown of male stability so which leads to the uh, mixture of uh, f1 hybrids and last uh, and last uh, factors is improper seed certifications so here so as you know this is not the factors that deteriorate the crop varieties 
but if there is any lacuna in uh, uh, in the ever factors and if it has been checked so it lead to the degradation of the coral bedatage so i have discussed regarding all the factors which is deteriorating the uh, coral bedatage and next class i will discuss regarding the what are the, the different uh, solutions how to maintain the deterioration of the coral bedatage so i hope uh, that is uh, uh, very helpful for you and please go through it and next class i will discuss regarding how to maintain the deterioration of the coral bedatage thank you so much have a good day